Hello, my name is Izais, and this is my computer which needs to be reinstalled. And I'm gonna show you how to do it using the internet. Now, not exactly the internet, but the network. And let me show you what exactly I'm gonna do now. Now, that's my laptop, and you can see this program called Server. I'm gonna use this to. Um, share my uh, Windows files through the RJ45 which is gonna go right there on the router and this cable right here is gonna go on the back of the PC now this is a gigabit router and also my laptop and uh, PC have gigabit uh, jacks so the whole process should, shouldn't take uh, much time so let's go let's hop inside the PC the laptop and I'm gonna show you how to configure server okay um, it's been a couple of hours since I reinstalled the computer right now I'm using it so let me just show you how to configure server now uh, first thing we're gonna be needing is uh, actual Windows ISOs. You can find those uh, on the Microsoft website. Uh, second thing we're going to be needing uh, is the actual actual drivers for the one. And the final thing is going to be the actual program. So let's uh, go and download server. Just type in Google server. And this is the website. I'll go to download and want to choose the well, depends on your OS, but I'm going with the 64 bit. Let's say this on desktop. Yes, okay. Uh, by the way, I'm sorry, my window is in Bulgarian, but. You want to extract the folder, obviously. Want to make a shortcut. Like this. Okay. And let's start a program. Uh, make sure you allow the access. And then we want to click on the little thumbnail and click on settings. And we want to go. To TFTP, click on TFTP server, um, and also uh, one more thing: you want to go, depend, whatever you want. You want to go C or D, doesn't matter, and you want to create a folder. Uh, I've called my uh, mine is server root. You can call it whatever you want, but yeah. So let me just browse. Yeah. Okay, mm. I like to keep this 10 seconds and this 10 as well. And these are the settings for this. And you want to go here, Ma make sure you click um, DHCP server and uh, the service add on. And now you want to type the IP address, which is um, uh, also bind the IP okay and um, you want to type the first uh, the, the actual client IP so uh, I recommend using if this here says uh, let's say 100 you want to type 120 because uh, you want to you don't want any problems and stuff so let me just type let's say 120 and here the post I just whatever you want let's just, let's just say 20 this is how many clients at the same time can connect but since we are using the free version only two can connect so it doesn't matter submit mask router okay uh, that's it click ok and we want to start now. Mm. 
Okay. So it right now should have created some folders. Yes. See. Okay. We want to click. Right click on uh, via WDS. Click on properties. Go to sharing. Sharing. Advanced. Share the folder and name it. Uh, via that WDS that the underscore share and permissions uh, for the for just in case I, I'm gonna allow full control for just in case okay and here inside we want to create a folder let's call this one and do 764 64 go get it Alright, I'll create one more. Let's call it Windows 8. Windows 8. And let's create one more. Let's call it Windows 10. Okay. So this is my Windows 7 image. Let me just extract this one. Again, I'm sorry for the Bulgarian, but you know okay so we wanna copy those files ah by the way you can actually mount the ISO but uh, I don't like it mounting it so okay let me copy this thing here let's wait a bit One. Let's go with uh, Windows 8. By the way, you can go with uh, one ISO only, but uh, I'm kind of doing this for me, so I just want to do it now and forget about it in the future. So that's why I'm doing it. Okay, what was Windows 8? So many folders to be <coughs> and Windows 10 left, which is this one. By the way, let's go with this one for now. Okay, let's copy this, paste them in the WinX folder. Mm. Okay, we don't need this anymore. Let's just leave this. That and let's load the program. See what's up. Okay, so it found. Uh, it's still finding the OS. So let's give it a bit of time. Alright, it's done. It's just end. So we can close the program again. Now, uh, let's go. Oops. Okay, let, let's say for example, example Windows 10. See, there's a new folder called OEM. Boot one, and it, here you should uh, paste the driver because at one point uh, the client's gonna is gonna search for the driver, so so it can proceed the installation. So we need to paste the drivers here. Let me just get some driver. Um, okay. Let me just show you which part of the driver should put. Okay, so you should find something like this. 
usually like four or five files you can you can see the extensions you need to copy those All right Oops. let's go to the program again All right. You can see here it has it says uh, in, injected. Okay, so that means uh, it has integrated with the driver. So yeah, that's uh, all about configuring server. But there is one more thing you need to do. Okay, you want to go to the net to network and you want to click. Here you, you need you see when you reinstall your computer by default uh, sharing is disabled so you need to go here and click turn on network discovery or there's another way you want to go to control panel network and internet network and sharing center advanced sharing settings and you want to turn on network discovery that is um, important so otherwise uh, the client isn't going to see you, okay? So we have this turn on. And now we can go back and I'm going to show you how to boot from the BIOS, okay? So see you later. Okay, let's start the PC and let's get inside the BIOS. In my case, I have to press uh, F uh, I mean delete to go inside the BIOS and I want to find the option boot from onboard LAN on your motherboard might be different but it should be something like this I want to make sure this is set to enable and with that we're gonna go save, save and exit yes and now want to go to the boot menu my case f11 now you see this have we have uefi ip version 4 uh, internet controller and we have the legacy this is uh, for windows 7 if you want but uh, since we're starting windows 10 i want to choose ipv4 and see it says it's starting the process I just wait a couple seconds okay and now we see this all right and we see uh, actually Windows 8 uh, can't be still because I'm using the free version now if you want to have like uh, more than two UEFI entries you will need to purchase the server but uh, since I don't need more than one I'm going with the free version. So let's choose Windows 10 and you can see now it's loading from the laptop and we can go over the laptop and see here's a program running at the task manager it's using 50 megabits per second right now Okay, and this is a page where it's going to install your drivers and all that. Uh, and now you need to type your username and password. Let me type my password. Like that. Click connect. And we're good to go. And from now on, the installation is just like uh, a normal installation using uh, DVDs or CDs with the only difference that it, if you have uh, gigabit speed, you can 
uh, install Windows really fast. Now, I'm gonna add a video here since uh, I already have video showing the actual speed. So guys, thank you for watching and if you wanna see benchmarks of this graphics card, the RX 480, Please let me know in the comments and see you next time.